chose to explore those political aspects um, of um, the early 19th century culture because of clues that I found in Pride and Prejudice. Everything in Longbourn begins in Pride and Prejudice. So um, the, the, the um, exploration of soldiering um, in Longbourn begins with Lydia's comment when her sisters have returned from Netherfield that Sunday when they've been, Jane's been ill at Netherfield, they come back to Longbourn and Lydia gets them caught up on the local gossip. And she says various things, including the Colonel Force is going to be married and a private had been flogged. And then the conversation just moves briskly on, they don't discuss it any further. It's probably not a suitable topic for polite conversation. Um, but for me, it was fascinating. First of all, that it, it's mentioned, and second of all, that it's not considered any further because the reality of that just seems so extraordinary to me. Uh, a man has basically had the skin peeled off his back and it's just mentioned them and they move on and it's so brutal it's so visceral but it's just ephemeral as well and i just got caught on that notion and started to think about what the reality of soldiering was in those days of course these are the militia that we're talking about not the regular soldiers so these are people who are in um england to keep what we might call the peace, um, because this is a time of massive social unrest and very little political representation for anyone other than the landed classes. So you've got things like the Luddite riots going on at the same time as this novel is set. Um, so the fact that militia being there has got implications, and that's one thing that I wanted to explore. The slave trade aspect of it um, begins for me in talk of Bingley. Now, they are, um, their money comes from trade, it's said, his father was in trade, and in the north. And a lot of, of the wealth of this period in, in England was based on sugar, tobacco, and therefore the slave trade. And um, these were run out of various northern port towns, including Liverpool and including Lancaster, which is where I live. Um, and so, Although Longbourn does go off to, to look at these various aspects of um, the, the, the culture of the time, the politics of the time, um, it does so just following these little clues, these little moments in Pride and Prejudice that made me, that snagged me and made me want to think more about something that was implicit in that book.